Have you ever looked at a corneal topography scan and not been sure what the diagnosis is? Is there corneal seepening just astigmatism? Is it keratoconus? Post-LASIK? Or does it look abnormal because they have dry eye or dermatochelasis? This clip I'm gonna pull up is one of my favorites. Check it out. When you're looking at corneal topography or corneal tomography, anything above 48, and especially anything above 50, we're thinking, hey, that could be abnormal. And what could that be abnormal for? Keratoconus. So anytime you see auto Ks above 48 and you have somebody you can't refract to 2020, we're thinking, hmm, maybe I should go ahead and order a topography scan to be able to see, hey, does this patient have early keratoconus? So here, what do we got here? So this patient comes into your clinic. What do they have? Yep, you got it, right? Inferior steepening, thinning of the cornea, right? Inferior steepening, top left top middle, you got some thinning there, 480-ish, right? Bottom right, posterior flow. We want, if it's above 15, we're thinking, hmm, this might be uh, some kind of posterior float, some kind of ectatic disease, and you'll see there, plus 64, okay? So uh, that's keratoconus. All right, let's see, next case. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so here you have inferior steepening. Okay, inferior steepening, almost steepening centrally. So you're probably, your first question is, Bobby, have they had surgery? And you're expecting me to say yes. So of course the answer is no. Huh, okay. Well, inferior steepening, uh, my differentials is keratoconus and keratoconus. So uh, what else could this be? But if you look in that bottom right, there's no posterior float. Okay, there's no posterior float. So what this is an example of is this is dry eye. Okay, dry eye can cause inferior steepening. And so you see a picture here, which looks like keratoconus or even post hyperopic LASIK. And it's just treating the tear film and boom, our scans get better. Let's go over a few other cases here. Okay, in that top picture there and in the bottom picture, you'll see that overall this looks one of those like goofy scans. It's like you kind of have flattening centrally-ish. Okay, this is um, RK, eight cut RK up top. On the bottom, you actually can see the two cut RK. You can actually see the two cuts um, that are making that cornea flatter up top. If you see something, you're like, I have no idea what this is on boards, just pick RK. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to Ken K's new clinic, Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.